How to create a game for Android devices part 10 Publish the APK file So, finally, we just need to adjust the final details and publish our APK So, to adjust the final details, we're going to open the enemy.cpp file and adjust the animation frames according to your generated files Remember to do this step always, it is very important If not, your animations will play in a in a way that is not the way that was initially organized then you you need to run and test your game on a real device try not to use an emulator but get a real device to test your game and finally you need to export your APK file and upload it to the Google Play Store so let's go back to Eclipse and inside Eclipse we need to modify a file so that is the enemy.cpp file I'm gonna make this big so this file runs the animations that we have so don't modify these values unless you know what you're doing but the values that you need to modify is the one in the stop method so from here you're going to specify the frames for your first animation remember that fly animation so I had 29 frames if you can recall let's go back and if I go to my fly animation I have the first frame and the last frame was number 29 so I placed that on this method and when an enemy was tapped or when a fly is killed we need to play the other animation so let's go back and let's take a look at our, our other animation and that starts at 30 and finishes at 49 so I place those numbers here 30 to 49 now once you modify this file and you place all your files in the constants file you're ready to test your game in a real device so I'm going to run now my game and show you how it looks like on a real device so I click on run and then I select a real device make sure your device appears here these are all the emulators but you need a real device and click OK and then that is going to load on your real device so I couldn't get uh, to run the game in the emulator there were many problems presented so if you want to use an emulator to try this game just go ahead and google how to uh, run a cocos 2dx project for android in an emulator but i got to run it on my real device so this is the game that you should see if everything went okay on your real device and when you start playing as you can see i tap some of the flies and some of the uh, flies just go away whenever a fly hides I lose a life and then if I lose three lives it's game over so I'll try this one more time just for you to take a look at the game so if I hit on replay then the stars appear again this time I'll try to win and as you can see whenever I tap a fly it plays the animation of the fly dying, the one that we created in Flash. So you can adjust the game rules for the flies to come in slower, or if you don't want so many flies in the screen, you can adjust that in the game rules. So go ahead and try your game and try the different results that the game gives you. Now we're ready to export our APK. So just click your project right click and select export then select under android export android application click on next and for a project name okay so before we have that we forgot to set our debuggable to false 
in our manifest. So I'm going to cancel this and let's open the manifest to correct that mistake. So just open the manifest and erase that line. Save it. And now we're ready to publish it. So export again. Export Android application. And now we're ready. So we select our project Fly Game. And we have to create a new key store. In the location, we can just save it to our PC. So it's always good to include a dot key store extension save and you always need to specify a password so this password is very important because every time you want to update your application you, you need to use the same key store and put, and input your password so remember your password then you need to create an alias so I'm gonna create one for the Google store so I'll use the same one letter and the password it asks for another password to confirm it the validity of the years it is recommended to use 25 years of validity and then your first and last name so Carlos Mendoza and the rest of the fields are optional so click next and then select a file to store your APK or a folder so I'm gonna do that here I'm gonna create a new folder so it's going to be called the fly game and I'm going to say my fly game dot apk remember always to include a dot apk extension and then save and finish so now we have our apk ready and we, we can do two things we can either upload it to the google play store or we can just distribute our APK to our friends, just give them, send it by email, uh, just pass it to the, their SD card, and they can install it in their device and play your mini game. So now you're ready to create, start creating more Android games and start uploading those games to the Google Play Store. So if you like all my course, please remember to subscribe to this channel as I will be posting more tutorials and courses about Android programming and remember to like all of my videos so thank you thank you very much